Your healthcare provider has ordered a medication that needs to be administered using a mini bag with vial attached. A flow rate device will be used to assure your medication rate is controlled. This instructional video will help you administer your medication effectively, comfortably, and safely. To get started, select a clean work area. Once established, clean your hands thoroughly using antibacterial soap and warm water. If no soap and water is available, use an alcohol-based hand sanitizer. Follow by drying your hands with a clean towel. Gather your supplies and prepare your sash mat as instructed. IV medication bag with vial, IV tubing with flow rate controller, IV pole, flush syringes, alcohol wipes, and if necessary, sharps container and or trash container. Inspect the medication bag. Check the label and verify. Correct name of patient and medication. Volume, amount of medication. Storage instructions of medication. Discard date of medication. Next, prepare your flush syringes. Prior to using syringes, push firmly on the thumb press with the tip cap still on, just until you feel the plunger move. Expel air and excess solution by twisting off the tip cap and pushing the plunger forward. Push out extra solution to the amount instructed by your nurse. Finally, replace the syringe cap, being careful not to touch the tip of the syringe with your hand. If you touch it, you will need to start over with a clean syringe. Set aside the syringes until you are ready to use it. Repeat this step for all flush syringes needed for dose. You are now ready to prepare your IV medication. Bend up, then down to break the seal of the medication vial. Hold the medication bag with vial upside down. Squeeze the medication bag to force solution into the vial, then release to drain the mixed drug from the vial. Repeat these steps until the vial is completely empty of the drug and solution. You are now ready to prime your IV tubing. Remove the IV tubing from its package and close the clamp on the tubing. Remove the tab from the medication bag. Then, remove the cover from the spike of the tubing, being careful not to touch the end. Spike the bag by pushing and twisting the end of the tubing into the bag. Make sure the spike reaches the medication and does not puncture the bag. Hang the IV medication container on the IV pole. Gently squeeze the drip chamber to fill it about half full of fluid. Do not overfill. Turn the IV tubing dial to open. Slowly open the clamp to prime the tubing, filling it with medication. When the medication reaches the end of the tubing, close the clamp. Lastly, adjust the IV tubing dial to set the correct rate for your IV infusion. You are now ready to flush your IV line with saline. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the saline flush syringe. Attach the saline flush syringe to the needleless connector using a push and clockwise twisting motion until secured together. Open the clamp on your IV catheter and or IV extension set if indicated. Flush your IV catheter using a push-pause method. Do not attempt to flush if resistance is met. Double check that all clamps are open, then call your nurse or pharmacist. Lastly, remove and discard the saline flush syringe in a trash container. You are now prepared to administer your medication. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the IV tubing. Attach the IV tubing firmly to the needleless connector on your IV catheter. Open the clamp on your IV catheter and or extension set, if indicated. Your nurse will instruct you how to verify that your medication is infusing at the correct rate. Once the prescribed dose has infused, close the clamp on the IV tubing. Disconnect the IV tubing and discard all equipment as instructed. If the tubing is to be used again within 24 hours, Cover the exposed IV tubing tip with a sterile cap provided. You are now ready to flush your IV line with saline again. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. 
Remove the protective cap from the saline flush syringe. Attach the saline flush syringe to the needleless connector on your IV catheter. Flush your IV catheter using a push-pause method. Close the clamp on your IV catheter and or extension set unless you have been instructed to flush with heparin. Lastly, remove and discard the saline flush syringe in a trash container. This will conclude your IV medication administration unless heparin has been ordered. If ordered, you will need to flush your IV line with heparin. Scrub the needleless connector on your IV catheter with an alcohol wipe for at least 15 seconds and allow to air dry. Remove the protective cap from the heparin flush syringe. Attach the heparin flush syringe to the needleless connector on your IV catheter. Flush your IV catheter using a push-pause method. Close the clamp on your IV catheter and or extension set if indicated. Lastly, remove and discard the heparin flush syringe in a trash container, thus concluding your IV medication administration. Here is a SASH procedure summary to ensure you are administering your IV medication effectively. Flush your IV with saline. Administer your medication over the number of specified minutes. Flush again with saline. Flush with heparin. With each administration of IV medication, you will get more comfortable with the supplies and the steps. For any questions or concerns you might have, please contact our highly trained specialty nurses or pharmacists who will help you understand the basics of home infusion therapy and will answer any questions.